welcome back to the channel everybody welcome back prime tech pt175 dad's been working on this thing for a minute now but got most of the kinks ironed out and she's gonna clean this job up for us i just wanted to give you a size comparison between the two tl12 and the pt175 Yep, FAE molter head on both. If you don't know, FAE makes Prime Tech. So we're gonna get this bird up and running. Molting a bunch of stuff today. Good to see it back. I'll show you guys everything that we uh, dad did to that machine. Had to rebuild some stuff and a couple other knickknacks. But it's good to have it back. Attack, Emma. Attack. Get him. Good. Got that one back together, huh? Yeah. Good. Just brought her up. Um, they're not going to be here for like a week. So, I don't know if you need one to drop the tag off every time. All right. If you guys can see that, that's, uh, I don't know, 12 inch. Pine. I think it's pine. Maybe 14 inch. Running carbides on the prime tag. It looks like every bit of what the 12 would be doing if it had knives on it and it's just chowing through it there's such a big difference between that machine and a skid steer obviously that's a dedicated machine that's what it's for designed to run that head right there yeah i just threw that log down there as a joke and it's gone again that's just carbides Carbides with probably like 600 hours or so on it, maybe a little more. Close the hood so they can see it, contain it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta get these brush piles mulched up.
gravel opens up five and some feet. How did that take you? 30 seconds? We'll give him another one. Let's get him another one. That prime tank is a hungry bird right there. That's the original bad cherry. That 30 seconds there, Hoss. There you go. Buzz through, all right? Nope, oh, that was regular. Oh, there's two tops in there. Apologies. Prime Tech says, we don't care. Bring it on. It's funny, that machine is 160 horsepower, but designed with the dedication of mine, so it's, yeah. It doesn't slow down the tracks when you bog the head. Controls are freaking smooth as butter. And it just keeps running through it. Is it really too much difference in that head versus Guy as far as overall design, it's not hydraulic, so
said come to Australia, we said hell yeah, brother. Dude, that's crazy. I don't think we can be much happier with the way this all came together. So, what we just did with the prime tank uh, probably would have taken at the very least twice to three times as long if we had used the 12. The 12 is awesome, but it does not compete with a machine that's dedicated for it. So, things that uh, went wrong with the Prime Tech, it does have, what's it got, 1,700 hours on it now? 1741, bought it with 1,300, uh, really cheap as far as these go. They're about a quarter mil a piece when they're brand new, and we paid less than half of that. Well, <laughs> Dad paid less than half of that, but it's in my name, technically. The paperwork is filed through me, so that gives me not much really but uh so it needed some stuff right off the bat when we first got it the front idler right here went out bearing went out so we got the update for that it's quite a bit bigger uh different uh tensioner and yeah then that's all we had to do more or less there was a couple other bs things we ran it for 400 hours and then it started overheating and it had a uh fan issue what was the stock fan? What was the name of that one? It's got a clean fix and flex air. Which one? Flex air is a stock one. Yeah, so flex air, um, a couple of the fins, it's got a reversible fan because it's always sucking air through the radiator. And every once in a while you got to flip it around so it blows the dust and all the debris that's been sticking to the radiator, the cooler, and the intercooler, the condenser, and everything's right there. It's got to flip around. But a couple of those fins were just dead floating, so it wasn't even getting proper cooling when it was in the uh, suck direction, and then the reverse didn't do much. So, um, Prime Tech Global, they have an update for it. It turns essentially the same fan into a hydraulic actuated one instead of an air actuated one, and they wanted 12 grand for that. Uh, that's a lot of change. So, called around on the Prime or on the Lamb Track, it has. Clean fix. I had clean fix on the lamb track, so got in touch with them, and uh, this is all it is now. Instead of that's the stock reverse fan switch, it's got this one. Wait for the compressor to kick on. Got a compressor back there, so we get good clean air going in to the fan. Builds up pressure, then it releases after a little bit. Used it a couple times. Everything seemed to be slick with that. Then. The uh, major thing that was going on is the track chains where uh, we were on pretty much the end of what was comfortable on the uh, adjustment for the tensioner. You see how this one's just barely sticking out? Not too bad. Uh, so new chain, new pads more or less on here. This is off of a, a burnt machine. We got a heck of a deal on a, a burnt Prime Tech. And uh, so swap those out and all the lower rollers uh those are all swapped out as well upgraded every other one was a uh, bolt in there for the cross member brace so now it's everyone that did all this himself it it takes a while when you're working triple full time and then you're going home and working on this thing so there's this identical thing rock guard on the other side of the track chain and you beef that up And this side, it had ripped one of these off, so he completely built a beefy, beefy rock guard. He custom built this whole thing, designed it, obviously, way thicker than the stock one. And uh, I think he's got inch and a half uh, round stock for the cross bracing, rather than three quarter. Up the bolt size, and it has it every one. So, that's that side's not going anywhere. That is a nice, beefy unit. couple other things the new condenser and just one thing after another it takes time a lot of the bolts uh, are bigger size now that he added either because he wanted to beef it up or it was just uh, some of them were stripped out some of these things uh, some of the rollers down here uh, the people that had it before us they just kind of abused it a little bit but some of those were wallered out ran loose so he filled those with weld and then drilled and tapped all those did quite a bit of stuff to it so now hopefully 
it can make some money rather than be sitting at the house. Maybe some days it would have been easier just to buy a brand new one, but um, it's a lot nicer when you don't have a big old hefty um, tractor payment at the end of the month, each and every month. So you work with what your bank account allows and sometimes you just got to spend some more time uh, rather than money that you don't have. So, so Haas is going to bring you a prime tank back over here. You got to fuel it up. I got a 37 gallon tank on here. He doesn't carry a transfer tank in his truck. He'll bring like a five gallon jug here and there. Got a couple of those laying around. I'll probably throw those in the uh, 080. It's getting a little low. I think I filled it once on this job. That thing does pretty good on fuel. 412 didn't even get touched today. Late start, bringing the machine here. Uh, the amount of brush that we mulched up, probably equivalent to four to five logging truck loads. And yeah, she gone. All the way up and through there. But uh, it's only 2.30 now, but I gotta, I gotta go to the dentist. So I gotta roll out. before get a full day in pretty happy day though the new fan seems to be working it reverses and functions just fine dad worries about the temperatures just like i do if it's not staying right there at medium right around 200 on the engine and i don't remember what that thing runs on hydraulics but if it doesn't stay at the perfect happy medium uh, you always kind of question it but it's staying cooler than it did with a fan that didn't work before so Got both birds back, 5500 back, and prime take. You don't have to get that close off, so you can move over to that side a little bit. All right, now straight back. Yep. That's good. Open the hood on this thing, roll it back. Just so you guys can see, slightly used carbides. I think there was a broken one on here. There it is. Yeah, that one probably needs to be replaced, but uh, it's not really hurting anything. Probably making it more out of balance than it's really hurting the productivity of the machine. Uh, I just want to show you guys that to, you know, everybody likes knives. Everybody likes knives. Throw a little bit of extra horsepower at it and some designated power to make it efficiently operate one of these heads you don't need you don't need knives but we got knives for it we'll play with those later on when we get some big timber but we're gonna enter there thank you guys for watching prime tech's back thank you uh jim down there at global he met me last night to got some parts for this thing and yeah global machinery good outfit jim he runs a good show down there, but we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.